All right, welcome to season three of Cedric Lewis. I said since we made the NBA Finals last year, I would run it back one more year with the Hornets. If we win a championship this year, which I feel confident we can, the series will most likely end. If I do not win a championship, Cedric Lewis will move on to his next team. And a lot of free agency signings, trades, a lot of craziness has happened in the offseason i'm gonna put on the screen right now that is right as you can see a whole bunch of trades and signings have happened so carl anthony towns and trey young are going to team up with zion jason tatum ended up leaving the boston celtics in free agency to team up with jamal murray and the young Wizards team, you remember in season one, I had this team completely blown up so they can rebuild and they go out and sign Jason Tatum and Jamal Murray to try and contend this season. And Donovan Mitchell ends up taking Jason Tatum's spot and he signs with the Boston Celtics. He joins Malcolm Brogdon, Marcus Martin, Robert Williams. Brandon Ingram ends up signing with the Brooklyn Nets to join Scoot Henderson and Mikael Bridges. That big three is going to be nasty. Kyrie Irving finally gets his wish. He joins LeBron James in Los Angeles. They also signed Terry Rozier there. They missed out on the playoffs last season and the Mavericks completely retool. As they add Russell Westbrook to their team and in the trade for Kyrie Irving they added Chris Middleton and Mark Kel Fultz. So those are the big changes, and now it's time to check out our team. But before we do that, I put on the screen right now all the upgrades Cedric Lewis had in the offseason. If you don't know, during the offseason, we use all of our upgrades from the regular season from the program called Synergy 2K that we used to upgrade Cedric. We put them all into the offseason, and that's when we upgrade them. You're seeing that on the screen now. It should be sped up. And and now it's time for the reveal our first game will be up against the wizards who did we add to the team damontes sabonis and aaron gordon are the two big additions i know i said i wanted a defensive power forward center but i decided to go to the scoring and rebounding side of things with sabonis who's having an outstanding season he's averaging 21 points nine rebounds and seven assists through the first month of the year and aaron gordon is averaging 18.6 rebounds and four assists through the first month so they are contributing at a high level we finally finally get a good starting small forward that can contribute and is going to play amazing defense and is going to be a lob threat i feel like this team right here is going to go all the way and they don't have the trade i made for um sabonis but this was a trade for Aaron Gordon. I've made two trades and two signings. So that means I have one trade left and one signing left. If you don't know, I get three signings and three trades every single season. This was the Aaron Gordon trade. The Nuggets did not have a starting point guard since they just lost Jamal Murray. And they had no shooting guard. So I send them Tyus Jones, Brandon Boston, Dorian Finney-Smith, and Grayson Allen for Aaron Gordon. I think that's a very, very fair trade. And in the Sabonis trade, I ended up sending the Sacramento Kings Lowry Marketing. And I believe that I sent him a pick. I might have sent them a pick too. And they ended up trading for Jonas Valanciunas. So they add Lowry Marketing to the team. So that's the team. And today we're going up against this Washington Wizards team. Old Debo, Jamal Murray, Bryce Bow, or Ba, I don't know how to say his name. Jason Tatum and Aaron Bradshaw. Zach Eddy, who was on our team his rookie year, is here in uh, Washington. But that's enough for me. If you guys do enjoy, we're going to hop into this game and leave a comment down below if you think we're going to win this game against the Wizards and if you think this team is good enough to win a championship. Let's hop into it. Here we are at home, the 9-3 Hornets, the 6-6 six six Wizards, led by Jamal Murray and Jason Tatum. Let's take this new team for a spin. they actually starting Zach Eddy now. All right, interesting. Let's see how this team plays i've already played one game so far this season and i had a hell of a time playing with aaron gordon i won't lie wide open from downtown cedric lewis now has a 95 three-point shot and several hall of fame badges to go with it so this season he is going to be a monster and the main thing i looked to upgrade was his interior defense and his rebounding 
So hopefully I won't be getting cooked in the paint like I did before. Let's get Aaron Gordon going early to lob! Posterizing Corey Kispert and Aaron Gordon gets his first bucket of the game. Right, one other thing I forgot to mention is we got a brand new coach. We got a brand new coach. Steve Clifford got the hell up out of here after that finals performance. Uh, we signed, I tried to sign real life coaches, but none of them wanted to sign. So I ended up signing a guy named Logan Schmidt. And he has like an A-plus defense, so that's why I signed him. All right, I'm going to pick up my second foul and get subbed out of this game. We're up by 13, though. Aaron Gordon's got eight points on four for four shooting. All lobs, because he catches every lob. And we're now up by 13 points. This is not a fantastic team. This is like a seventh, sixth seed at best. But, I mean, they, they still got Jason Tatum and Jamal Murray, so you can't take them lightly. We get the steal. On the, I'm, on, I'm, up the, I'm on the break. LaBelle gives me the ball. I could not speak English there. Up by 18 points. Cedric already has 15 and 10 so far in this game. And this is showing the potential of this team. We are just completely dominating the game right now. Corey Kispert in the corner. He ain't going to get nothing done. Um, they really, I don't know what they're doing. They're going to call for a screen for Corey Kispert. He's got two seconds left. I get contested. And we see... Now, if we didn't have Sabonis there, and we had um, whoever we had a power forward, um, who do we have? Larry Marketing. I guarantee you that ends up being an offensive rebound since Aiton came with the help defense as I turned the ball over. I ain't letting him. Yeah, look, I'm quicker. I'm quicker, and I end up giving him an end one. Wow. All right, I'm getting subbed out here. Up by 26 points. They haven't even broke 30 yet, and we're up by 19 heading into halftime yeah there are no positives for the wizards right now down by 22 i've got 27 who is this big ass dude on me number 20 uh, right by everyone gets fouled cedric lewis just drove by every single defender in his way and goes to the line for his 28th and 29th Point. That one was a bit sketchy, but yeah, I kind of figured coming into this game it'd be a blowout. These are also the same sliders that I've had when we lost to the Spurs and went to seven games against the Cavs. Like, I have a switch of sliders. This just shows how good we are against mid to bad teams as Aiton gets another steal. Uh, Max Christie's on me. No, I'm just going to pull that. I'm going to pull that, and I got the rating and the badges to back it up. Cedric's fifth three of the night. You go to Cedric's rookie season or even last year. He cannot hit that shot. Step back, contested over his defender. He's not hitting that shot. But now, 95 overall. I got the badges and the ratings to back it up. Oh, yeah. Cedric's going to be hitting a lot of those. Oh, and he gets up that. All right. Well, 25-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. 23-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. If anything changes or anything crazy happens, I'll let you know. But other than that, this game is more than likely over. Their scoring leader is Zach Eddy with 12 points. I know he was cooking, but bro, that is not who you want to be your scoring leader. That is Cedric's, I think, 8-3 of the night. 12 points is your scoring leader, and you have Jason Tatum and Jamal Murray on your team. That's bad, bro. And there he goes again. He's going to get probably 14 at the line. That's insane how that missed. With the, that's I almost fouled out. What well, all my badges and my 95-3, that misses. That's outrageous. And I fouled out. Yep. Saw that one coming. Whatever. The game's over anyways. I don't have to sit here and play for another three minutes as Jamal Murray hits that free throw. 89-111 is your final score. Final box score, Cedric Lou. First of all. Look at the vast difference. In the playoffs and the finals specifically, I, there was only two double-digit scorers basically every game. Three if we were lucky. One, two, three, four, five, six double-digit scorers. You love to see it. Set your goals to 42 points, 7 rebounds, 16 assists, only three turnovers, 13 to 26 from the field, 7 to 16 from three. I think there was like three or four open shots. One, including that should have went in, that didn't. I don't know why. That I miss, but still not a bad percentage. Uh, Aaron Gordon dropped 18 points, missed all of his threes. Lamelo Ball, 15 points, hit three out of four of his threes. That's a first. He went two of seven from two, 
but hit three threes. He had 15 points, seven assists, two steals, and two blocks. Uh, Aiton with 12, 10, three. Three steals. He's been getting a lot of steals in these games and a block. Nick Richards, 12 points, two blocks and a steal. And Sabonis, a double-double. Two players with 10 rebounds. You'll love to see it. That's what we needed. Three offensive rebounds, two offensive rebounds, three offensive rebounds. And for the Wizards, Zach Eddy was their leading scorer with 16 and three blocks. He had a lot of free throws. Eight for eight from the free throw line. Tatum only had 14. He only attempted 10 shots. And Jamal Murray, 12 points. He only attempted seven shots. Players that attempted most shots on their team, Corey Kispert, 3 for 11. Aaron Bradshaw, 3 for 10. Says all you need there. Anyways, that's going to be for me. GG.